Hi everyone, my name is Virginia Duan, also known as Mandarin Mama. I run a podcast called the Nuna Army Podcast where, <laughs> where I discuss the particular challenges and aspects of being a middle-aged BTS fan. One of them is husbands. You'll probably see my mood degrade throughout the series as I get more and more irritated. <laughs> this is my husband, James. Hey everyone. And uh, the idea, the premise of this series is to turn him into an army. It's not going well. So some, some of you might like that. It's like watching a train wreck in almost live, delayed, kind of. I guess. I mean, part, part of the problem is we're actually speaking to each other. So that usually ends poorly, right? Yeah, most. Yeah. On top, a lot of topics we don't agree on. Yeah. This is probably going to end up being one of them. And the key to our marriage lasting for however long it's been, a long time. Like we've been together for 18 years. Um, but... The key, I feel like, is that I tell you my opinions and you don't tell me any of yours. Yes, that's why we usually fight on road trips because there's no escape. Oh, do you remember the first time we had this huge fight about abortion? And yes. I was like about to like walk out of the car as we we're in the middle of like the I-5 in the middle of the night. Oh my God. I was like about to like punch him in the face. Yes. And so that's kind of what's happening because um, he's actually telling me his opinions. I, I'm not here for it. <laughs> I'm not an open-minded person, people. <laughs> I hate openness if it's not going my way. That is true. <laughs> so yeah, so we've been fighting. Um, in our previous videos, I found out James... Oh, I guess I already knew this about you. Anyway. So now we're going to no, react... You didn't even finish the thought. I don't, I'm just too frustrated, guys. Okay. I'm just too annoyed. If I talk about it more... I'm going to be even more annoyed. And I, I guess people don't want to see me be like pissy on TV or YouTube, whatever. Um, I'm going to play for you my favorite song off the last album called Jamais Vu. Uh, Jamais Vu is the opposite of Deja Vu. Deja Vu is like something you've never experienced, but then it feels like you've mm -hmm. experienced it before. Jamais Vu, Jamais means never. Uh, vu means see. So Jamais Vu means you're doing something you do all the time, but all of a sudden it feels like you've never done it before. It's like the opposite feeling. Wow. So something that's familiar all of a sudden becomes unfamiliar. God. Um, like our marriage. And um, because James, James's favorite BTS song is um, The Truth Untold. And this is kind of like that in that sense. Um, and this is only three of them. It's Jin, J-Hope, and Jungkook. And this is my favorite. He has cookies. I know, because his nickname is Cookie. Um so this is my favorite song off of the previous album. Which is called what? Map of the Soul Persona. Oh. They they repackaged several of the songs onto the new album too, but like right. a remix. Can, kind of they just included it on. Anyway, that's not interesting. Alright, so here this is my favorite song. Please keep that in mind before I otherwise I might punch you in the face. Is this a video or just a This is just a lyrics. Fan's this, is, this is yeah, this is okay. um, Let's get this over with. I'm sure really it's gonna be great bonding moment for our marriage you really people are going to see us like devolve <laughs> on screen that's right. what works for t reality tv all right here we go <laughs> I feel like I guess I gotta deal with it, deal with this real world. Hey, oh, turn out a game, you meant you'll catch me. No more pony gun. We're gonna fight, aren't we? We're gonna fight. It just, it just, it seemed like a weird, like, transition. I 
well produced and I can see why people like it. Um, not necessarily kind of what I'm most into but I thought it was well produced and I can see why it'd be a hit okay I guess we can stay married so the next song we're gonna listen to is Spring Day so this song they call Queen Spring Day because um, it's it's the it's been on the charts for Korea for three years running like, so this is like their big hit this is this is like korea's favorite bts song and the joke is anytime they have a comeback anytime they drop a new single anytime they like the fans are trying to chart another song Sp spring day comes back up on the God. chart so this is like their evergreen hit yeah like so um kind of a background some people think this song is about the seoul ferry accident in korea do you know about it so i guess there was a big accident uh, the ferry sank Mm. And the captains and the crew abandoned ship mm. and did not help people off. Mm. And so all these children died. And my parents received, like, texts from their kids saying goodbye to them. Like, do you, like I, I can't even talk about it because I'm about to cry. Um, but, like, it was, a, it was, like, a horrible, horrible accident. And so this song is seen often as a critique of that. Mm. Um, but they obviously can't say anything because Korea has censorship, I guess. And um, so some people interpret it as that. And then there's all other things that people interpret. Like there's a lot of sci-fi references and stuff. But uh, you can probably just enjoy it as their a ballad. This is probably one of their most popular ballads um, in Korea. And when I first heard it, I was just like, okay, it's a good, it's a nice song. But it, it wasn't my thing. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like a bad thing. It's sure. just, you know, I just didn't. And now? And now I, I really do love it. Um, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's above 50%, right? Like it's in the, it's in the more like than dislike. Do you have songs you dislike from them? Oh my God. Yes. Okay. Just want to make sure you have some. But I would say I like about 90% of the things. Like 10% of their songs, which is a lot if you think about it, because they That's have over extreme. 150 songs. But like, I like the majority of their songs. And some songs I didn't like initially. And then I liked maybe later. Um, and some songs just. You know, like, sometimes you just get used to it. I get it. I get right? it. Right? Um, but for the most part, I like the majority of their sound. Um, all right. 
So here's spring day. Maybe my husband. Oh, oh, and it's about, uh, about, it's a, it's after a breakup and they're hoping they're, they're feeling like they're in winter and they're longing for spring. Mm -hmm. So either their love will be reborn or, you know, they've moved on. So here we go. Also, their outfits are really nice. Starting with that one? No, not that one. And a reference is like that, I think, either Train to Busan or Snowpiercer, I think, like some Korean movie. Mm. Who is that? That's me. On you or deep on Jenner? On him, for sure. Thanks. In the laundry? Mm -hmm. And a mountain of laundry. Yeah. So where's the connection to the fairy thing? I think it's the uh, lyrics or something. I don't know. There's explainer videos. Sure. I'm just telling you the theories. No, no. It's like Jay-Z and Illuminati. Yeah. doesn't seem to fit. So what's up there in the laundry pile? I don't know what you mean. I don't think of all the things you want to answer in this video is like, why does this laundry they pile... They answered it. I don't really care. I just think it's visually you know, interesting. I, I don't... Know. I think it's weird. Like, most of the, the, the visuals are like nice. Then have a dude's on laundry. Maybe it's they, that... They can never get clean? Yeah. There's always dirty inside? No, they just miss them. They can never free themselves. From what? 
their laundry? I don't know, Jimmy. I don't remember. I mean, this seems like the most, like, outstanding question from the video is the laundry. We can look at explainer videos. This seems out of place, I'm just saying. Not that I can connect the dots and all this, but that definitely seems like a... the odd item in the video. You know that thing where you throw shoes over like a tel the telephone wires yeah. or whatever. It's like you miss them. It's usually the dead person's shoes. Oh. Uh, why did this mess with you? Uh, New Year. Okay. I mean, that's not, that's not one of the better songs. I can see that being a hit. Again, well produced. Again, I go back to like a lot of the stuff that I think is good in general. You can just tell the kind of produce it in slightly better production. Like the... There's more f variety of flow or like, I can't, I'm like, I don't know music well, I can't, exp I don't know what I like, but I can't really explain it, but like, that felt more like, yeah, it was, um, compared to like the first song you shared, I think the, the one guy singing. Oh, Filter. Like that's just, again, it seemed like a more of a. Oh, oh, oh. Like which this, one? Which one? The first one in the this video? Like the filter song, like that, that you the, thought was just meh. Yeah, because like, like compared to comparing the two, like you can oh, see yeah, like yeah, yeah. like this, you can see like there was, it felt more crafted. That like, um, is this one more far more better produced in terms of like? Mm, but I feel like they're different feels, right? Like. Oh yeah, I mean they're, they're like filter is a flirty, sexy song with mm -hmm. like Spanish guitars, right? It's it's your Spanish. It's like it's like their version of uh, Senorita or whatever. Not Senorita, the... Well, there's what was that? The Shawn Mendes, Camila Cabello song. Um, Havana? Yeah, no, yeah so whatever. Like that, like, yeah, that, yeah, that okay. fake Spanish feel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why mm. I like that song. It has a very, like, cool, slinky vibe. Like, Spring Day is, is about yeah, missing someone. But, uh, and Johnny yeah, Blue is like a sad song, but, but all sad songs. But it feels like more of, like, your, like, signature pop hit song. Which like, one? This, these ones? This one. Okay, okay, okay. Like, you that's know, like, fair. like... Like the, well, that's, the why kind, that's a title yeah, track. Yeah, like the kind, yeah, the, that's exactly, exactly. The, the, that sounds like the type of title track you'd have in a pop album, whether it be them or anyone, any other pop group, right? That just feels like, a, that, that's like your, your, your first track released kind of thing. Maybe I have to make you listen more to pop, their pop stuff, or their EDM. Isn't this, Do you like EDM? Isn't this electronic dance music? Yeah. Do you like them? Maybe. Like Chainsmokers? Do you like Chainsmokers? Yes. Yeah, I mean, again, I like most hits he says that but he doesn't no i mean hit like like i don't I, I really other than maybe hip hop i can't really say like i really like like uh a genre like like as a true fan like i i tend you know i hate to say it like yeah i tend to like the good hits he likes radio <laughs> you, you just like what you just like whatever no i mean but it's rarer for me like if i'm gonna like something most likely it is a hit it's not a b-side but I usually. But in hip hop, I, I like say in hip hop, there's B side that I appreciate because again, once you get into it deeply enough, you can appreciate some of like the little, the less known tracks and so forth. But not on pop. I mean, pop is just like B track pop to me is like just just background music. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to see this train wreck continue. <laughs> Well, we were civil in this one. Fair enough. Fair, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. They're, they're, my feathers were unruffled. Okay. Ruffled? No, unruffled. Right. Smoothed out. All right. So, yes, please like and subscribe. Hit the notifi notification bell. It's a was, bell? Yeah, it's like an actual bell. And you, like, hit it. I've never heard someone say you hit the bell. All right, go ahead. Hit the bell. Please. <laughs>